All right, so we're going to start off with some vocabulary terms. Statistic is the science and art of collecting, analyzing, and drawing conclusions from data. The statistical problem solving process that we're going to follow is starting by asking questions, collecting data, analyze the data, and then interpret our results. Individual is a person, animal, or thing described in a data set. The variable is any attribute that can take different values for different individuals. Categorical variables, they take on values that are labels, all right? So which place each individual into a particular group called a category. Quantitative variables take number values that are quantities, so they are counts or numerical values. For a quantitative variable, it would make sense to calculate the average. So if it makes sense to take the average of those numbers, then it is a quantitative variable. All right, so an example classifying data. The website boxofficemojo.com lists the widest opening domestic PG-13 movies of all time, measured by a number of theaters. The table displays some data from the top five widest opening of all time as reported during a recent year. So we have... Um, five movie titles, the theaters, how many theaters they were played at, what distributor they're from, the opening weekend gross amount of money they brought in, and the genre. All right, so identify the individuals and the variables in this data set. Well, the individuals is like what I'm collecting data on are the top five widest opening domestic PG-13 movies of all time. All right, the variables are the number of theaters, the distributor, the opening weekend gross, and genre. So there are four variables. Classify each variable as categorical or quantitative. All right, so we're going to break them up into either categorical, they are a category, they're like a label, or quantitative, they're numerical, and it would make sense to average them. So for categorical, the distributor, so Walt Disney, Sony, Universal, putting them into a category, um, or genre, again, that's putting that into a category. Quantitative would be the number of theaters and the opening weekend gross. All right, bonus tip, categorical variables can take on numerical values like house numbers, telephone numbers, social security numbers, and zip codes. None of these are counts or measurements so they are not quantitative, okay? So like a zip code is a number, but it's not really tied to doing any sort of math. It wouldn't make sense to collect everybody's zip code and then average them. That would just give you a, a random number. It's not, not really tied to something. It's putting you into a category which area you live in. Um, distribution tells us what values the variable takes and how often it takes those values. So your distribution, a lot of times you'll be putting together a type of graph uh, of your distribution. A frequency table shows the number of individuals having each data value. So it's like the count, how many times did this occur? Relative frequency table shows the proportion or percent of individuals having each data value. So relative frequency is when we change that over to percentages. All right, summarizing data. Below are the data on preferred movie genre from a sample of 40 teachers. All right, summarize the distribution of preferred movie genre with a frequency table and a relative frequency table. So we're gonna go through and get our counts here. So for action, we're gonna go through and count how many total teachers chose action um, so there was 12, we're going to go through animation, comedy, documentary, drama, horror, rom-com, and sci-fi. So we have all of our frequencies or the counts, how many times they occurred. And I'm going to go ahead and change that to a relative frequency table. So I need to change these into percentages or proportions. So I, it was out of 40 total. So I'm going to take for action 12 out of 40, which becomes 0.3 and that would be 30%. Remember, fractions just mean division. Uh, one out of 40 is 0 .2, 0 0.025, so 2.5%. Comedy, five out of 40, 12.5%. Documentary, two out of 40, 5%. Drama, 
6 out of 40, 15%. Horror was also 15%. Rom-com and sci-fi are both 4 out of 40, which come out to be 10%. So there's our relative frequency table. It's all in uh, proportions or percentages.